Recently, the Dad Labs took a little trip. Our sponsor, Baby Bjorn, flew us all the way to Washington, D.C. to visit the Swedish Embassy. We were attending a parent conference there. And while we were there, we ran into one of the nation's leading neonatologists, Av Fenneroff. Dr. Fenneroff was generous enough to sit down and do an interview with the Dad Labs. Now, stick around after the interview's over and leave us a comment. You'll be automatically entered into our weekly drawing this week for a great basket of Baby Bjorn gifts. Baby Bjorn, European design and dad friendly. Sweden, also known as the Swedish Embassy in Washington, D.C., our nation's capital. And I'm joined here by one of our nation's leading neonatologists. I'm, I'm, I'm very excited about this interview. Um, Dr. Av Fanaroff is in from uh, the Rainbow Babies and Children's Hospital in Cleveland, where he's the chairman of pediatrics. And uh, we're here to talk a little bit about some of the work that he's done in promoting bonding between parents and babies. Dr. Fanaroff, thanks a lot for, for joining me. It's a pleasure. So talk a little bit about the benefits and, and, and the benefits of physical contact early on um, between parents and babies. It's extremely important. It's a tactile stimulus that is enhancing many aspects. It makes the babies calmer. Uh, it enhances their brain growth. It's no different to adults. Mm -hmm. Adults like to be touched, they like to be stroked. Babies like to be touched, they uh, like to be hug? stroked. Can I, can, I, can I have a hug right here? Oh, oh, I feel so much better now. No, but it's, it's important. And how are we gonna get guys, how are we gonna get these dads? Um, because I think men are sometimes a little hesitant in those first moments, right, to, to hold the baby. I think that uh, the modern era, uh, with a lot of uh, material online, with the introduction of uh, fathers into the delivery room. They are encouraged to touch and hold their baby uh, right out of the gate. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that the American public have now come to recognize that it's very important that there be a father figure and that the father be intimately involved with the baby. And, that, and a difference can be made just in the, in the first few weeks of life, the amount of time that's spent in physical contact. I mean, that really can change what's happening two, five, ten years out, can it? It absolutely can, and if we equated it to uh, money, there would be exponential growth in your investment. Can you, is it possible, to, can you hold a baby too much? Parents think that we're spoiling the baby if we hold them too much. Physically, no harm is going to come from holding them uh, too much. Go back to uh, the caves. Uh, you held them all the time. Otherwise, they were extremely vulnerable. Huh. That's fine. My wife keeps trying to talk me into moving back into a cave. <laughs> Cheaper to heat, something like that. There I'm ain't sure I'm no heat in the cave. Oh. Hmm. You'll need to get back in the cave into the animal skins. And that's environmentally not good. So if you're going to do two things, two really important things, um, it's got to be breastfeeding and it's got to be that physical contact in the, in, the, in the early days of life for the babies. Absolutely. You've got your MD. That's all you need to know. Now I'm going to be performing an appendectomy right here on Dr. Fanaroff. So just keep those cameras rolling. <laughs> I'm not really going to do that. It's tracheotomy. It's a totally different procedure, much simpler. Thanks a lot. That's all for us here from the House of Sweden.